Yo, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Elda. And if this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, right, right, I need you to hit the subscribe button, right, right, and I need you to turn on your notifications, right, and then I need you to light up the comment section with hashtag DieCousinGang, and you'll officially be my cousin. And those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cousin? What's up, fummy? You already know. Shelly, do do me. I'm love you, baby. Baby, I'm love you, baby. Okay? But you know how we get down, baby? We be like, welcome back. Back. Hey, back. No, no, no. Forget you then. Forget you then. Well, you guys, welcome to Die Couch Conversation. Okay, and this one right here, when I said I ain't even know a lot of people was feeling this way, I ain't even know a lot of people was feeling this way, all right? But it is what it is, all right? And I don't even know if I, how I should title this, okay? I don't know if I should title this, I Shall Breathe Again. I don't know if I should set this as Creating Boundaries. You know, how about you just comment below? what you think this title should be. I'm just gonna leave it at Die Couch Conversations because baby, baby, baby. A couple of days ago, I had a breakdown. Like, it was bad. And I sat and I reflected on my year, okay? And y'all, this year has been hard for me and very emotional. And in processing this whole year, I had to get very honest with myself, very honest about situations, very honest about people, okay? Because one thing about me, when I say I rock with you, I rock with you. When I say I got you, I got you. I strive to be a woman of my word. And if I feel like I'm not going to be able to deliver, I'm going to go ahead and let you know. You understand what I'm saying? So with that being said, I posted, I seen something on my friend's post. Okay? And I had to repost. All right, this is what it said. Right, so that's what it said. And this was my caption to it. Listen, I don't know what you've been through this year. I don't know what you've gone through mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, with things and with people. But come to a place where you find balance. Come to a place where you set boundaries, okay? Why I say that? If you don't, People ain't gonna set it for you. Situations ain't gonna set it for you. It may push you to set them, but it's not going to be created willingly by the other party, okay? Learn people for what they show you. Accept them for what they show you. Especially if you have a habit of always looking for the good in people and you you continue to give them chance after chance after chance after chance after chance after chance and they keep showing you the same thing they keep showing you the same hand they keep showing you the same hand listen protect your mental your emotional your spiritual your financial your physical listen protect your peace okay it is time that we stop making excuses for people. It is, it is time that we stop 
being naive to their true characteristics, it's time that we stop being blind. It's okay. If this is how you move, I know where to put you and I know where to leave you. I know where to handle you. If you feel like you need to cut them off and you feel like you need to shift up off of them, then do what you need to do. But we need to stop with the excuses. Stop being naive. Okay? And especially when you're somebody like me who, who love. And when I love, I love. And I strive to keep my heart pure as y'all see me, as y'all seen what I posted in my comment. I strive to keep my heart pure and I strive to display the love of God. But listen, I am not God. I am not Jesus. I strive to be like Christ. I strive to be like Christ, but I am still human. All right. I am still human. All right. So with that being said, when it comes to my emotional and everything that I got going on from mental, everything, I have to create boundaries. So, like I said, if you feel like I'm acting funny or if somebody may feel like you acted funny, listen, I promise you I'm not. I just I just accepted you for who you are um, and no longer making excuses, okay? And I just put you in whatever category I need to put you in, all right? It's just like this, when people get upset when they be like, oh, nobody don't support me, nobody don't support me. You have to know what type of support they they offer you or what support they're giving you and you need to to leave it there and not expect more because you can't you can't look at somebody who supports you verbally to get any and 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 look for support financially from them you have financial supporters you have verbal supporters you have physical supporters you have server supporters okay so with that being said, when you know what type of supporter that person is, then you shouldn't look for nothing more, not unless that person within themselves have increased or have elevated. It is time that we get to a place, like even though it's hard, it is hard because you wanna act out in the flesh. Listen, you gotta look past the person. You have to look past the person, okay? Because there's people out here that do not value friendship. They do not understand loyalty. They don't know the true meaning of that, okay? It's it's like literally you have people that are in survival mode. And if you come into a relationship with um and if you come into a relationship with the mentality of what you can do for me and you're not trying to offer nothing, you're not trying to bring nothing to the table, then that's not the type of that's not a relationship you need to be in, whether it's platonic or whether it's you know intimately. Listen know where people are at know where people listen accept it for what it is they've been showing you stop making excuses all i can do for you is pray for your breakthrough all i can do is pray for your deliverance all i can do is pray for your healing because i am not god and i am not jesus i cannot save you and neither will i continue to allow myself to be completely depleted neither will i allow myself to let my cup run empty because because of you i'm sorry can't do it no more can't do it no more i am not your dumping ground listen don't call me invent and and don't expect to to pray or don't if don't listen if you yeah, I don't even think y'all understand. You know how some people call you and all they do is complain. Now they done dumped all that garbage on you and you being who you are, uh, you know, prophetic and what the world would call an empath. Listen, now they done dumped that all on you. Now you got to carry that. No, 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 no. Don't hit my line if you're not going to look for a resolution at the end of the conversation. Because we we not we not doing that, especially in 2022. You guys, we are quickly approaching the fourth quarter of the year. And part of rebuilding your momentum, part of getting it together so that you can, you know, set forth, set forth with your best foot moving forward, you got to acknowledge the toxic things in your life. You got to acknowledge the toxic people in your life. Period. Period. So I am at that place where if you feel like I'm acting funny, then you need to evaluate yourself. You need to evaluate the relationship. You need to evaluate how how you were with me. And it is what it is. Because we too grown for it. We, we too grown for a lot of things. Um, I've been processing a lot. I've been 
grieving a lot allowing my emotions to run because what i also found that i was doing was suppressing a lot of things like you know like not even allowing it to process and then it pushed me to a point where i had that ugly breakdown and i was like a ticking bomb so no more of that so with that being said like i said i don't even know how to title this because a lot of people um feel how i feel you, you're tired you show love you get abused you show love you get abused and then that one moment that one moment you do decide to put your foot down you the bad guy nah 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 homie i don't look up i don't look up so now you're upset because i'm not allowing you to abuse me i'm not allowing you to manipulate me that's why you're upset but you're not gonna make me feel no type of way so if you need to go sit in a corner and say lie and deal with your convictions then that's what you need to do but you're not gonna continue to to treat me how you treating me and then expect things to remain the same no nah, sweetheart it is what it is so i encourage you in any way to acknowledge these things and stop being naive and stop being blind to people's true character. Yeah. Stop being naive, stop being blind to people's true character. It's okay for you to set boundaries. It is completely okay. Because you may be able to bend your back for, for person A but you may not be able to do that for B because person A might bend their back for you. But how you gonna bend your back for B and B ain't even trying to try and even ain't even trying to catch a cold out here. Like literally. Know people, know your relationship, know for what it is, so that you know how to move accordingly, so that you know how to govern accordingly. With that being said, I love y'all, okay? I love y'all and as i said we are approaching the fourth quarter and when it comes for 2022 listen 10 toes down momentum is building so be sure to check out my merch in the description box the link is in the description box okay cuz so but listen i love you be blessed be encouraged if this video has encouraged you in any way make sure you thumbs up make sure if you're rocking with your girl hashtag die cousin gang in the comments and whatever you feel like this title should be like whatever you took from it what is what would you title this okay what would you title this i'll be waiting for you in the comments y'all but i love y'all be blessed be encouraged and remember you have victory on every side.